Greetings once again from the beautiful sanctuary of St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I'm Bob Jones, along with David Berry on the organ, singer and reader, Ardeth Kerr, accompanied by Ron Bagnall, and Stephen McKay, our operator, hoping to bring the church to you. begin with a prayer. New every morning is the love our waking and uprising prove, through sleep and darkness safely brought, restored to life and power and thought. New mercies each returning day hover around us while we pray. New perils past, new sins forgiven, new thoughts of God, new hopes of heaven. Only, O God, in your dear love, fit us for perfect rest above, and help us this and every day to live more nearly as we pray. Amen. And now, Ardeth, with the reading and the song. A reading from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28, the faith of a Canaanite woman. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying loud, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. Thanks be to God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight, angels descending ring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. 
perfect submission all is at rest I in my Savior am happy and blessed watching and in his love this is my story this is my song praising my savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my savior my Savior all the day long. You have heard the story from the Gospel of Matthew about how Jesus healed those who were in need. But what may be seen as a confusing element enters this story at the beginning because at first Jesus appears to refuse or ignore the request. And it is only after the disciples intervene that he becomes impressed by the woman's faith and perseverance. It makes me think of something that Paul the Apostle said to the Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. In other words, don't give up. But this story in Matthew's gospel makes us wonder about this whole matter of healing, faith healing. I've made reference before about the village in which I grew up, a community made up mainly of Anglicans, Baptists, and United Church. But hardly ever was the subject of faith healing mentioned. Faith, yes but healing in the memorable sense of today's gospel almost never. Strange, isn't it, that what is so emphatically spoken of in the Bible is sometimes almost overlooked. Now we're all interested in our health, our own and our family members, right from the newborns to seniors, Seniors' homes, nursing homes, special care homes. It's a big, big subject right now. But faith healing, where I grew up, was often left to the Pentecostals with their healing services, accompanied by fervent prayer and sometimes miraculous results. And we cannot deny that Jesus made six people well, he healed the sick. He was one of those people who possessed the gift, the power to heal bodies and minds. I say he was one of those people because, of course, he wasn't the only one. Elisha in the Old Testament, Peter, James, and John in the New Testament times, they were all healers and experienced miraculous healings at times. But here I want to take healing and faith in another direction, and that is that we can't rule out medical science, medical practitioners. I'm still alive and kicking thanks to a few doctors, surgeons, people of faith who combined that faith with medical knowledge to keep me going. To quote my mentor, Dr. Ferris, it is both pills and prayer that keep us going. But I would be remiss if I did not add, uh, we are left with the sobering fact that not everyone is going to get well, no matter how great their faith. In the end, God does give us the power to get well, but when that doesn't happen, God also 
gives us the power to meet the disability and transcend it. I have seen so many examples of that. In the words of the hymn writer, behind the dim unknown standeth God within the shadows, keeping watch above his own. Now I would bid you to come before the throne of grace with boldness that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. Let us pray. O oh God, we thank you for our bodies and for the power that you give us to keep and make them well. Give us a realistic faith in your power and goodness. And when we go through the valley of suffering and sickness, help us to trust in your loving care and in your power. And now we gather all our prayers into one as Helen McKinnon Bagnall sings the Lord's Prayer. And may God be with you until we meet again.